Bad news for the Gunners. Gabriel Jesus picked up a knee injury while playing for Brazil against Cameroon at the World Cup and has had to undergo surgery, so he will be out for up to 10 games for Arsenal when the season resumes. That's surely not the news Arsenal fans want to hear with the second and tougher half of a title charge ahead of them. So it becomes imperative that the North London club sign a striker in January to stand in for Jesus while he's away and also serve as a substitute for when he's back. Here are the top five strikers Arsenal could sign in January to do just that. Number one, Jonathan David. Jonathan David did not exactly have the best World Cup tournament with Canada crashing out after just two games played, but he's a solid player and he has proven it numerous times at club level. This season, he already has 12 goal contributions in 15 appearances and he was a very important player for Lille when they won the league in 2021. So Arsenal bringing him over to London may not be a very bad idea. Also, he is only 22, so he might actually turn out to be a good long-term investment. Number two, Gonzalo Ramos. Now here's one guy whose stocks have gone up overnight. Ramos earned his first start for Portugal at the World Cup in the round of 16 game against Switzerland, and he became the first man to score a hat-trick at the 2022 World Cup. He also became the first man to score a hat-trick on his first World Cup start since Murislav Klose did in 2002. But don't for a second think that Ramos was just an overnight success. He currently has 20 goal contributions and 21 appearances for his club this season, and then going on to do it in a knockout game in the World Cup should give Arsenal some confidence that he'll turn up in big games. Arsenal have actually been linked to the Portuguese striker for some time now, but we expect his value to increase following his World Cup performance. But still, this is one guy Arsenal should not let pass them by, and he's only 21 too. What a signing he would be. Number three, Nicholas Fulkrug. Another gem the World Cup may have unearthed is Nicholas Fulkrug. The Werder Bremen striker came off the bench to score two goals for Germany in the group stages, and although they weren't enough to get Germany to the knockout stages, they were enough to advertise him to a bunch of new suitors, perhaps including Arsenal. He currently has 13 goal contributions in 16 appearances for Werder Bremen this season, and Arsenal snatching him up in January would not exactly be a very bad idea at all. Number four, Marcus Turam. Turam is another sharp striker who has already started the season beautifully. He currently has 17 goal contributions in 17 appearances, and he's someone who can act as a good alternative for Jesus at Arsenal. He's currently at the World Cup acting as a good enough backup to Olivier Giroud, and he could also make a good enough backup for Gabriel Jesus if he joins in January. Number five, Marko Arnautovic. Another thing Arsenal could do is just sign a short-term deal with an older striker who already has experience in the Premier League. And if they decide to do that, Arnautovic is not a bad option. He already knows what it's like playing in London, so it shouldn't take him a lot of time to adjust. He could also bring a different dimension to Arsenal's attack, being six foot four inches tall and really good in the air. We believe if Arsenal get one of these strikers, they wouldn't miss Jesus so much while he's gone. Who do you think is going to be Arteta's choice? Let us know in the comment section down below and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel.